This is Classical Conversations, Cycle 1, Week 13, Science, number 121, Tilt, in your Van Cleave, number 121, Tilt. For this lesson, you will need a pencil, a ball of modeling clay about the size of an apple, and a flashlight. I'm coming to you from my basement for this video because my kitchen has so much natural light it was impossible for me to turn the lights out and do this demonstration correctly so forgive the poor lighting and the curtains. Um, the first thing that you have to do is that you need to insert the ball of clay <clears throat> tilted through the through the ball so all the way through push through at an angle This was kind of difficult to do. It didn't it didn't make my ball as perfectly round as it was before. Okay, so I've gotten that through. You can see this. And I'm going to have to have it just tilted at an angle because, <clears throat> I, like I said, I'm not at my kitchen table, so I can't put it on the table. But you position the pencil through the ball like this. We're going to imagine that the Earth has, you know, a northern hemisphere, a southern hemisphere, an eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere and based on where the earth is determines the season and the amount of sunlight that it receives <clears throat> so we're going to demonstrate how when we turn the light on what seasons that side of the earth are receiving okay <clears throat> so you need your flashlight and it says to position your flashlight about six inches away from your ball. So I would say that's about six inches. Okay, so I'm going to have my helper now. Okay, helper, could you turn out the lights? Okay, and now we can see that the side that I am pointing the light on is receiving a lot more sunlight and that would mean that it's summer on this side of the earth and the side that is receiving less sunlight it's winter we see as we rotate this that that's how we get our seasons based on the earth's position in correlation with the sun okay helper you can turn the light back on Thank you. <clears throat> and that's really all the um, the how for this lesson. Now I'm just going to glance over the why again and see if there's anything that we need to point out. So the pencil represents the imaginary axis running through the earth. The northern hemisphere, which was the area above the equator, is warmed the most when the earth's axis ports toward the sun. This is because more direct light hits it. The southern hemisphere, the area below the equator, receives the warming direct light rays when the Earth's axis points away from the sun. The direction of the Earth's axis changes very slightly during the Earth's movement around the sun, causing the southern and northern hemispheres to receive different amounts of light. This is how we get our seasons. Okay, so this is all. Lesson 121 in your Van Cleves. This is Classical Conversations, Cycle 1, Week 13, Science. It's number 127 in your Van Cleves, number 127, and it is called Sinkers. For this, you will need a quart glass jar, and you will need a lid. That's crucial because you're going to shake. You will need tap water, which I've gone ahead and added for this demonstration. You will need five paper clips and you will need a cup of soil. <clears throat> now my jar is not very wide mouth so I just have a small piece of paper that I'm going to put around that to try to help me get the dirt in so that it doesn't go all over my table. Um, but that's all. So what we do is we fill the jar halfway, put the dirt in. So now I'm going to put my dirt in and my paper clips. So five paper clips in they go. Now the dirt. This is extremely lovely. This little piece of paper is. Shake that in. 
tutors all have a piece of paper in the classroom for you that you're going to need as well. Okay, and then the book says that what we need to do is shake vigorously. So I'm going to do that for a few seconds. Okay, I think that is pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to set a timer on my phone because we're supposed to set a timer and wait five minutes. So I'm going to start that, and while it's going, I'm going to pause the video. When the timer is up, I'll come back. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm going to hold the jar up for you. I'm going to, it's very difficult to see. I'm not really pleased with this experiment, but it is what it is. Um, almost immediately, paper clips fell to the bottom, and I don't think that you can see them at all. Well, maybe they can see that that's a little bit of metal. But this is... It's very bit difficult for them to see, um, but the paper clips are there on the bottom. I think you can see them there, maybe a little. They fell within a couple of seconds of me setting it down. They were at the bottom, and the soil is just slowly dropping and dropping and dropping. Okay, so that's the how of this experiment. The why is that soil falls all the time and rain beats down on it. And the heavier metals continue to get pressed down, pressed down, pressed down in the soil until they hit a hard rock layer. And then they combine, and that method is called a placer or deposit. So the, the rain's beating down, it's, it's beating down on the dirt, and the soil falls at a much lower, uh, slower rate. And so metals are just getting pushed down, down, down into the earth. And that's the why. This is not one of my favorites, but it's number 127, Sinkers, Cycle 1, Week 13.